We just got Utopia merch. Travis caused an earthquake with the performance and there's been a mysterious Utopia bus that's been spotted. So today we're gonna break down all the latest Utopia news about Travis Scott's new album. So let's jump straight into this. If you wanna stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Real quick, if you don't wanna listen to this, make sure to skip 10 seconds into the future, but you can also sign up for my free newsletter with the first link in the description. It comes every Sunday and details everything that's been happening in hip hop over the past week, so make sure to do that. So let's start with the least exciting things of all the news today and work our way up. We've been, you know, getting a lot of Utopia news over the past couple of days. I mean, last video, I went over the billboards that appeared and also some other stuff. So make sure to go check out the other ones in the playlist. But let's start today with a couple of more spottings of Travis Scott, mainly in Spain. So for one, he was spotted, you know, kind of filming a music video. He was recently spotted in Denmark, I believe, shooting a music video. Now he seems to be doing the same in Spain. Also in Spain, what I found very interesting was him being spotted spray painting the word Utopia on the side of a house wall. And this looks kind of like he wants to create some sort of setting, maybe for a trailer. We'll go into if this could be a trailer in a second. First of all, I do want to point out that I think around the same location, we could also see the logo Utopia, the one that we've been using as the cover and all of that, the one that you can turn upside down and it still says Utopia. I really like this logo. I hope this somehow makes it on the final cover art of this thing. This was spotted also, you know, kind of like a, not like a spray painting by hand, but like printed onto the side of this, outside of this house. And I think also around the same location, this picture right here surfaced, apparently of some service company, but you can see that they have the word utopia in their description. You can see it's Spain because it's the number three, four. I think that is the number for Spain. Correct me if I'm wrong though. So that was already pretty interesting. And before we take a look at the merch, I wanted to kind of go into one theory that I thought would be very interesting connected to these recent appearances. And this one was posted by a Travis Scott fan page and they said, apparently the album trailer will feature Travis looking for utopia in different countries across the world. And we've seen this theme of looking for Utopia, for example, in the OG billboards back in 2020 or 2021, when it said looking for Utopia, wrong way, y'all remember those. And also in the most recent billboards, it was, is it in the chateau? Is it in the liquor store? Is it in the bank? Those were the places where you could find Utopia. And now we see him traveling across Europe, Denmark, Netherlands, Spain, Italy, I think now Germany also, like, I hope he's around here, you know, so that could be a, definitely a theme that he's doing in the trailer, also him spray painting Utopia on the side of this building, kind of, is, it could be a scene in that trailer, so we'll likely get a, a big, cool trailer, and I think this theory could actually be pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the merch, though, because Travis has obviously been doing shows across Europe, festivals across Europe, over the past couple of days and weeks, and at those festivals, you can see that he's been giving out merch and giving out his shoes, and maybe you've seen the clip of him giving out a shoe to a fan, but one of the merch items is this right here. We can see a t-shirt that has Utopia on it and this stone figure on it. And I think this is pretty interesting because those stone figures were also the ones we could see in the clock that was on the most recent billboards. Also, the back of these t-shirts featured the same stone people, stone characters that were on the billboards. And you can see it says the fourth album by Travis Scott. So this is kind of like, you know, what's going on with this? This, this is definitely somehow connected to those billboards. And what I also found really interesting is that Rolling Loud themselves reposted the merch for this thing. And it yet again has a different design, but they also reposted this. So this to me is kind of like the start of the rollout with the merch and him promoting the merch so heavily also, I think connects to the theory that he waited with Utopia because he wanted to benefit from the billboard rule changes where now the sale of merch will count as a fan pack so that he can get the first week numbers and the first week sales, the number one spot, 
that he so desires, I believe. Let's keep going with the news though, because we still have a couple of things to go over. Next up, just a fun fact, maybe you've seen this also on my Instagram, I posted about this, make sure you follow me on Instagram, link is in the description, but Travis caused a mini earthquake at a show in Milan, Italy. And this was even on national television in Italy. I think this is pretty funny because there were 80,000 people there all jumping around, obviously, mosh pit, everything, and that caused an earthquake. It, like you can see it on like a meteorological map that there was an earthquake, which I think is pretty funny that Travis fans have the power to, you know, summon an earthquake. But let's keep going with the actual interesting news, which is that Michael Rubin, the billionaire, the owner of Fanatics, who knows a lot of people, he held a birthday party. And I think this was also in Spain. And he invited everybody, everybody from, I've seen, you know, Tom Brady, Kim Kardashian, all types of rappers, Lil Baby, Jack Harlow, Lil Dirk, Quavo, and Travis Scott. And you can see right here is the picture of um, Michael Rubin's official Instagram account where we can see Travis Scott is obviously also there. And the funny thing about this though, is that outside of the location of this party, there was a bus spotted with a Utopia logo on it. And we can see that from one side, it says Utopia and a question mark on the back. It also has those stone figures again. And it says the fourth album by Travis Scott, I believe. It's pretty low resolution, but I think that's what it says. And from the other side, we also have the Utopia, you know, sign. And again, those security lock numbers you usually have on like, you know, luggage. And it says 02 one one so the one we had on the billboard as well a lot of people thinking that it could be july 21st obviously also because the the handles of the clock on the other billboards also pointed to 721 or this could be some kind of code and i think i'll make a separate video on that theory because i saw so many interesting things about this but it could be the lock code for the utopia briefcase because that's also obviously also one very important central element to the whole rollout and i think that's actually a pretty interesting theory that we got to take a closer look at but it'll be too much for this video i'll do a separate video on this so make sure you stay subscribed to not miss out on that well that's kind of what's been happening over the past couple of days when it comes to travis and the utopia rollout i find it very exciting right now that i can make a new video every other day and we have so much to go over like i went over today we had like four or five different things that we talked about today so i believe the next couple of weeks are going to be amazingly interesting for any travis scott fan i think we now uzi with dropping love is rage 3 obviously if you don't know about that make sure to check out the last video that is going to be big in hip-hop of course but then towards the end of july when he's likely dropping july 21st basically confirmed i go into why in the last video on utopia also pretty interesting i think then then that's going to be the big thing in hip-hop the big thing in the music industry so until then we're just going to wait we're just going to see what else happens i think this rollout will get even better so I'm going to make all the types of videos about this as soon as we get any new info. But let me know what y'all think about this, though. About everything that I went over today, kind of scrambled together. Let me know what y'all think about this, because this looks really interesting. And it seems like there's going to be a lot of different elements to this rollout. Let me know all your thoughts on this and all your opinions on this in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media, and most importantly, join my Discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day, and you'll take care.